are. Now we're going to check strength. And I probably should have done strength while I had you laying down, but I'm sorry. We're going to go back down one more time, okay? Uh. And so, if you remember, we want to test a person against gravity first, because if we know they can go full range against gravity, um, and which we essentially know from her ranges here, that Sarah probably has at least a three muscle grade, which is full range, against gravity, no resistance. So now, I know she has pretty good range, so I'm going to check and add some resistance and see what her strength is like. I'm also going to note her pain before I could start pressing on her and after. So right now in your right knee on a scale of 1 to 10, where is your pain at? 1. Okay, so 1. So hopefully if I give her some resistance, I don't put her in more pain. Would you mind laying down? Okay. And Sarah, what I'd like for you to do, I'm going to kind of slide over here, so don't get my butt. Go? No. Sarah, what I would like for you to do now is I'd like you to bring your knee up to your chest. This knee, obviously. Okay. Now, Sarah, I would like you to try to push it against me. Push. Okay, so Sarah is doing hip extension now because that's where she feels it. Okay, and you can rest a minute. And her strength there, she was taking pretty much almost maximal resistance. So on hip extension, I would give her a 5 over 5 um, in terms of her muscle strength. Now for hip flexion, Sarah, what I'd like you to do this time is bring your knee to your chest, only I'm going to resist you, okay? So go ahead. Come on up as hard as you can. Come on. One, two, three. Okay, so her hip flexors are weak. If you notice, she broke. Do it one more time for us there, for the camera. Hold it, and I can really push her down. I don't want to hurt her back, though, okay? But I would call that maybe a 3 plus, 4 minus out of 5. Okay, now, Sarah, what I'd like you to do now is squeeze your legs together as hard as you can, and don't let me push it apart. And that is her adductors, and she is maximum strength on that. Now, to test our abductors, we press over here, and she tries to bring her leg out to the side. Sarah, that's it. Go, go, go. That one's a little weak, but not horrible. Do this side so I can compare. One, two, three, go. Oh, she's good. She's a little stronger on the left than the right, but it's not inordinate at all. So, now we've checked um, abduction, adduction, extension, and flexion. I'm going to write these um, numbers down so that I don't forget them because her flexion was weaker than her extension. And so we said she was a 3 plus 4 minus out of a possible 5. Extension, 5 over 5. Abduction, I would say 4 plus out of 5. And adduction, she was really good, 5 out of 5. Now, Sarah, uh, I think the rest you can sit up for. I just wanted to make sure before I sat you up. For internal rotation and external rotation, we're going to do what we did earlier, which is you bring your leg like that, and I'll try to resist it, okay? Mm -hmm. And you hold it. So act like you're going to put this knee up here, right? Okay. And hold it and don't let me push. Ready? Go. Good job. So she breaks a little bit there. And probably if I didn't have you holding with your hands, it might have broken sooner. And that's okay. But I'm going to call that maybe a 4 minus. Um, so that's right here. Oops. 4. Oops, this is external rotation. 4 minus over 5. Now let's do internal rotation. Okay, so you bring your leg that way. Right. And don't let me try to push it the other way. Ready? Go. Push it and don't let me. Okay. So that's actually stronger than external rotation, okay? So I would call that maybe a 5 minus over 5. It's just slightly below 5, okay? Now, Sarah, for knee flexion, I'd like you to again do like this. Hold your knee flex and don't let me straighten it, okay? So let's do this knee in the interest of the video, okay? So if you bend your knee under there, and I'm going to try to straighten it, push, okay? Good, and she was max there. kind of don't want to do this knee because okay. I don't want to hurt it, okay? Now, Sarah, if you hold your knee straight, you can scoot back and get comfortable. 
And notice I'm supporting back here, too, so I don't hurt her lower back. I'm going to try to bend your knee, and notice I have the fulcrum going on here. And don't let me bend it. Oh, wow. So she can lock that knee and extend to no problem there. Okay, so I would call these five over five. Okay, now Sarah, we're going to do the same thing with your ankle, dorsiflexion. Okay, bring your ankle all the way up there and hold it and don't let me put you down. Ready? Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, now Sarah, I want you to push against my, whoa, and you can see she was really strong there. Do that again, plantar flexion, maximum strength. Lots of times, too, I'll just say, curl around my fingers, and don't let me straighten your toes. Now extend your toes, and don't let me push them down, okay? So I would call everything I just tested as 5 over 5, and then the last thing to test is um, e version and inversion, and I would just call this flexion extension 5 over 5. And what we mean by when we say 5 out of 5, it means the person has full range of motion and could take maximum resistance. If somebody has limited range of motion but some strength available, you might put five over three. Or you might describe what you're seeing that they don't have full range of motion. So, um, okay, then bring your toe in and don't let me make it go the other way. Ready? Go. Oh, God. Wow. Now go this way, E version. Okay. And don't let me put it into E version. Okay, good in version, I meant. Good job, okay? So she's five over five with that as well. That concludes the lower extremity range of motion. And don't turn the video off yet. Sarah, at this point, what is your pain level in the right knee? Okay, so it's slightly elevated. I mean, I was doing some resistance. My guess is it hurts more on your lower back than it does on your knee. It hurts them more in my back and yes. hips than my knee. Yes, uh-huh. Because so I, I uh, uh, compensate by, in the way that sure, I walk. Sure, by using your hip mm -hmm. more than your knee. And then the, your whole body mechanics will change after you have this surgery. That concludes the lower extremity range of motion and manual muscle testing.